have seen this ad. It starts out 124 tickets, 124 seats. In it, we tell a very short story about how we keep track of the number of seats we've sold on any given flight. We do it with a big computer system we call Saber. Hear it working away? We'd like you to know it, or him, or her. We haven't always had Saber, even though we've been counting seats for a number of years now. What's more perishable than a pear, or a banana, or a strawberry? A seat on an airplane, that's what. It may surprise you to learn that our product is about as perishable as any can be. A seat on a plane can be sold right up to departure time. But when a flight takes off, there's not a thing we can do with it except fly it empty to the next stop. It's not just our problem, though. There have been many times when one of our passengers, you perhaps, would have been happy to ride in that empty seat. We'd have been happy, too. This is the story we'd like to tell you. We had to have some way of counting seats, keeping track of our inventory. How many seats were available? Were we sold out? In contrast to some products, our individual units come in groups. We sell single seats, of course, but all of them, sold or unsold, make the trip. So keeping track of what's sold and what's still available for sale has always been a particular concern of ours. When there are only 12 seats per flight and one flight a day, keeping track of that inventory wasn't too difficult. At that time, there weren't many passengers either. As aircraft grew larger and passengers more numerous, just keeping an accurate count call for some ingenuity. These 40 to 60 seat aircraft made about 1,100 takeoffs a day, keeping count of not just one day's flight, but of all flights through the coming year added up to a lot of seats and a lot of dates. It wasn't enough for us just to keep count. We believe that any passenger of American Airlines should be able to walk into any ticket office or call any reservations office and be told immediately if a seat were available on the flight he wanted for whatever date anywhere on the system. We accomplished this by using an expensive and complex system of telephone and teletype lines and manual filing and charting procedures. We were outgrowing this manual system, so we pioneered the Magnetronic Reservizer. By pushing a few buttons, one of our salesmen could find out if seats were available on a particular flight and then by pushing other buttons could automatically reduce the inventory for that flight. The reservizer was limited to a few offices, and each office still had to keep card files of the passengers boarding in its city. If the passenger were boarding another American flight or another airline's flight in another city, a message had to be sent to the next boarding city. It was a complicated system. two Mr. Smiths flew from Los Angeles to New York. One was Mr. C.R. Smith of American Airlines, and the other was Mr. Blair Smith, Director of Market Development for IBM. The first Mr. Smith mentioned some of the problems of reservation processing. And the next year, American and IBM agreed to research the possibility of computer control. Could a computer handle the processing of all reservations requests and the control of inventory on all flights? Yes, seemed to be the answer. Several years and several million dollars later, American introduced Sabre, the most unique and complete electronic reservation system in the industry. Hundreds of man years of effort went into Sabre's development. The ultimate in computer technology it's the largest commercial computer system in the world and operates on real time, which means that any item of information can be processed immediately, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Most computer systems process information at only specified times of the day. How does Sabre work? 
In the simplest terms, it's a teleprocessing system. Inventory on all flights, as well as other related information, is stored on reels of magnetic tape in the computer center at Briarcliff, New York. American Airlines personnel in the field, 39 cities in all, communicate with the computer by entering information into the system through a typewriter. The information travels as electric impulses over high-speed telephone lines to the computer. The computer then processes the information at an internal speed measured in millionths of a second. The office sending the information to the computer receives a reply in less than three seconds. Speed and communications was one of the most important things we were looking for. With Saber, it means that when one of our salespeople in St. Louis sells a seat, including the last one on a flight, the inventory is adjusted immediately. No one can sell another seat on that flight. 124. 124. But Sabre does much more than simply act as a counting device. Keeping count of all seats in all classes on all flights for a full year is a good deal of counting. Sabre also maintains a complete record of every reservation, the name, telephone number, special requests, miscellaneous data, as well as all flights in the itinerary, no matter how long. It automatically sends messages to other airlines selling or requesting seats on their flight. It also tells the original selling office when the confirmation has been received so that the passenger can be notified. The margin for human error in copying and transmitting reservations is substantially reduced. Saber has been programmed to play some apparent tricks that make it seem like the machine is thinking for itself. If, for instance, a salesman doesn't obtain all the necessary information for a complete reservations record, Saber tells him so. He can't complete his transaction until he includes the required information in the record. Saber won't accept a reservation for a flight on a date on which it doesn't operate. Unlike humans, it knows what it knows, nothing more. Flights which don't operate on a given day don't compute. But with the same rigid attention to detail, Sabre gives us up to the last minute passenger meal counts. It also tells selling offices to advise their customers of schedule changes. One of the most uncanny features of Sabre is its ability to find a passenger name record. Let's say a Mrs. Mortensen calls to change the return flight on a trip she and her husband are taking. She carefully spells the name and the salesperson she's talking with sends all the information to Sabre. When Mr. Mortensen called originally, he didn't spell his name, and the salesman entered it as Mortens. If Sabre can't find an exact duplicate of the name requested, he matches individual letters in the names on the flight list and gives the salesman a choice of names that contain similar letters. It's a little frightening the first time you see it. When Sabre has found the record, it prints it out at a clip of 125 characters a minute. The greatest advantage of Sabre is its accurate, up-to-date inventory count and its speed of communication. If a seat is available on a given flight, the customer who wants and needs it can get it. If the flight is reserved, Sabre will take the customer's name and enter it on the waiting list. When a cancellation is received, Sabre will automatically process and confirm the reservation to the first person on the waiting list. Let's assume that a passenger in Cincinnati cancels a reservation on a flight from Dallas to New York. Sabre will first check the waiting list. If there is no waiting list, the seat immediately becomes available to the first customer anywhere on the system. At this point, it should be clear that Sabre solves a lot of problems for us at American Airlines. With our highly perishable product, we needed a system which would guarantee that we could keep every possible seat available for sale. We've been in the business of producing firsts in equipment, facilities, and procedures for some time. Sabre, the ultimate in a jet age reservation system, is another American Airlines first. It's 
speed and accuracy make it easy for you to use American Airlines and for us to maintain the highest quality of service for our passengers. The next time you're in one of our ticket offices or call reservations, listen for that light little clicking sound. It's Sabre, working away accurately and quickly for you. Thank you.